To log into your Google Drive account, in the address bar of your browser, type in drive.google.com and press enter. From here you'll see a sign-in box on the right hand side. If you are familiar with Google products, you will be very familiar with this if you've used Gmail. Uh, if you do not have a Google account yet, you can click on the sign up button in the top right hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and pick my email address and type in my password and then click sign in. From here I see my Google Drive dashboard and this is the welcome message for a new user. Um, some of the main controls on the left hand side. The main two things you see are these red buttons. Uh, the left button is create and that's where we can create new documents, presentations, spreadsheets, forms and other things. Uh, but we're going to be talking about uploading files today so click on the upload button. This is upload from your hard drive and you can choose to upload one file, individual files, or an entire folder of files. So today we'll go ahead and upload one individual file. And I'm going to pick something random. I'll go ahead and pick this quiz about thermal energy. And I'll click on open. And notice how you can see the progress of the upload here in that progress bar. And once it is finished, it will say uploaded in this area. And then if I minimize this, I'll see that my file is there ready to be accessed. So if I click on it, it will open that file, and that's a PDF. So there is my quiz about thermal energy. To share a file on Google Drive, you can click on from your dashboard, uh, check the file you like to share, and then there's a button that says it's the share button, and it has a little person icon with a plus. Click on that button. And from here you have a link, you can copy and paste this link to share it with someone in an email, or better yet, you can add their email to the bottom where it says add people. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to another one of my accounts, and I'm going to click on notify people via email, which means that you c it will send an email that this file has been shared, and you can add a personal message. So I might say, here's the science quiz over thermal energy. and I'll click on share and save and now I have shared that with actually myself but my other account and you can add, uh, change the the options they can either edit it, they can just comment on the file or they can view the file so if it's someone you're going to collaborate with and make changes to it you can click on can edit if it's someone you just want to share access to to view it you can click on can view so I'm going to click on can edit and click on save changes and then click on done so now this file has been shared Alternatively, if you have the file open in Google Drive, you can click on the blue share button in the top right hand corner. And I've already shared it with myself, so I can click on share again and it says it's there. So you can access a sharing feature either way. You can also share via email here, Google Plus, Facebook, or Twitter if you would like to use those options. To access files that have been shared with you from someone else, on the left hand side uh, you have my drive which shows just your files you made yourself but then if you click on the shared with me button uh, it shows that all the files and all the folders that have been shared with you by someone else so it shows who has shared it with you on the right hand side when it was shared and then what the file or folders name is on the left hand side you can also star certain files so let's say if I really like this Google Drive presentation that I made it'll be under my starred folder so now we see Google Drive is star so if you have maybe favorites you can do it that way or recent files that have been changed they will be shown here and it shows when they were last opened by you here and who the owner of the file is 